Okay, for part two of my chocolate seashell exploration, um, I've got, I'm gonna use the same clam mold and I have some melted candy melts, but you can use real chocolate. Again, my hair is doing something crazy. It's, this is a very long story with my haircut. Um, anyway, so take your seashell mold. Actually, let me tilt this down. It's easier to see like this. And you're just gonna paint where you want the color on the shell to be. And if you look at a real seashell, they usually have striations in the color. And depending on the type of shell, it might have little dots of color here or there. The clamshells tend to have color like down here in the ditches. And you have to kind of pay attention to where the ditch is going to be because it's the opposite of what the mold is. So I'm just going to drag some color along here. And then after you're done with that, just let it set up. I'm not going to let it set up because this is just a real quick video. Take your second color and very carefully cover that. And just let that set up. And this is candy melt, so you can stick it in the freezer. Nothing's going to happen to it. If it's real chocolate, you just want to let it sit. And do that. All right. And there is my little seashell. And when I'm done with that, it's going to be a um, little stripey. And what I'll do is I'll take a picture of that and put it as the picture for this video so you can see what it looks like. Now, I wanted to show you, this is actually pretty cool. I used, for this one, a sea urchin mold. What you do is take the white, take melted white candy candy melts and just press it into the holes in the mold. Because sea urchins have little bumps on them and that's what gives them their appearance. So just press it in. And they also have kind of colored stripes. And to make those, you just kind of push some of the chocolate out of the way. I'm really pushing these into the little holes. And then what you're gonna do is just take your finger and kind of scrape some off. You don't wanna do too much because it's gonna crack if it's too thick. But once you do all that, fill it with the opposite color. So I use the pink again, and I'm gonna show you this one that I did. And when I pulled it out, this is so cool. That's what it looks like. It looks like a little sea urchin. And I did miss some spots. So you have to kind of make sure that you're filling up all the spots. But that's really neat. And just the way the little white bumps stand out, it's because I pressed the chocolate into the holes in the mold. And when you fill it up, those just remain white. And it, it's that's really cool. I really like the way that looks. So you can make those pretty easily with chocolate and use those on a cake or cupcake toppers. And people can actually eat them because we know chocolate. Chocolate tastes better than fondant. All right, so that's my little contribution for the day. And I'm gonna stick this in the freezer right now. And when I'm done, I'll take a picture of it and use it as the profile picture for this video so you can see what it looks like. And leave me any questions, but that's that's a real simple way to color seashells. And you don't have to mess with fondant. You don't have to mess with marbling fondant. You don't have to mess with striping fondant. You don't have to mess with painting fondant. The problem is I, you know, I can't make them and sell them because I don't wanna ship chocolate because it would just, that would melt. It wouldn't be good in the mail. All right. So anyway, leave me questions and I'll talk to you guys later.